Okay, well, this is going to be part two of the Old State Cemetery in Vandalia. We were here, oh gosh, mm, it's probably been seven, eight years ago. Let's see what this says, Lincoln attends funeral. General Assembly here in Vandalia. Four legislators, two of his fellows, federal judges. So, we are going to start scouting it out here. Start over here at this uh, Colonel Robert Blackwell, born 1796, died in 1866. He was Illinois' first auditor and public printer. grass out of here. There we go. So, yeah, he was uh, he was a Black Hawk War soldier. Cool. And let's go over here. Let's see this big one. Can't get on top of him, but sacred to the memory of Robert Homer Peebles, doctor, MD, 13 year resident physician in Vandalia, born Pennsylvania, September 7th, 1797, married March 1832. Miss Augustus Ernest died in Vandalia, April 9th, 1835. Here we have. Ferdinand Ernst, born 1790 something, they weren't sure, died in 1822. Leader of colony from Hanover, Germany, came to Vandalia in 1819 with Frederick Holman, Holman, who remained to build houses, bring all expenses. Ernest returned with colonists December 1820, director of State Bank 1821, trustee of Vandalia, appointed by General Assembly in 1821. Cool. And this is his stone that you can't read. It's just wiped out. There's Herman Ernst. And there's lots, lots of old stones here. I mean, these are people born 1700s. Cool. see what over here I'll start over in this corner over here there's just tons to look at you can see all these old stones some you can't even read anymore that's There's some here, the whole row. She can hardly read. She was born in 1783. Anne Dale something. <laughs> this one is almost gone. Here we have Spanish-American War. And let's see here. We have <clears throat> in memory of Mrs. Mary Posey Hall, wife of James Hall, born in Virginia, January 27, 2nd of 1799. Died of Vandalia, 1832, and of James, their infant son, 1832 to 1833. Wow. Let's just see what this says here. 
uh, wife born Kentucky and son first man of letters in Illinois state treasurer president of first state historical society author of first book of literary style in Illinois trustee of Illinois College editor of first Western annual 1828 of Illinois Intelliger first literary magazine of Illinois and author of Legends of the West, 1832. Cool. Here's Charles Prentice, 1800 to 1837, born in Pennsylvania, first storekeeper in Vandalia. For owner William Kinney, House of Representatives, Registrar of Vandalia, and Office State Bank Commissioners. And that's his stone that you can hardly read, but maybe this must be his wife Let's see what this one Fort Donaldson Shiloh Stone River Jackson Black River Vicksburg Chattanooga Lookout Mountain Mission Ridge, uh, Tona Pass, Kingshaw Mountain, Mountain something, and in all the battles of Sherman's campaign from Chattanooga to the frontier of Atlanta. This is the bravest man in the Army, the Tennessee J.A. Logan. He led his command in 41 hard-fought battles and was killed with the flag of his regiment and country in his hand, standing upon the breastworks of the enemy before the city of Atlanta, Georgia, in the memorable fight July 22, 1964. May his God and country deal justly with him. So and then they got like a sword and... So I'm not sure. Oh, it's Colonel Greathouse. So this is original stone, and then they put this up here. And donor Dr. Mark Greer put this monument up, and basically says the same thing that's on his original stone. Lucian Great House. Born Carlinville. That must be his son. Cool. Okay, let's go over this way. Let's see another one over here. Apparently. This must be his stone that you can't see anymore. But James Black, born in 1791, to October 1843, born in New York, prominent merchant and landowner, postmaster, 1827 to 32, House of Representatives, 28 and 29, Director of State Bank in 35. So. <clears throat> Go over here. I think I'll do one more and then I'll go into the old state house uh, cemetery part three. There's one over here. Let's see. Half an acre of this old state burial ground was laid off for state officials in 1835, although exact location is unknown. It is thought to be in this area in 1874. The monument and remains were moved to South Hill Cemetery. Four representatives and a circuit judge were buried here. John B. Emanuel Canal, born in Baltimore, and uh, William McHenry, 
in White County in 1771. Benjamin Clark, 1799, and so forth. Okay, uh, that'll be it for now.